Hey guys, it's Christian here from SolidTech Solutions. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a 2D footprint of the part that you can see in the screen over here. This ties in nicely from the last two videos that I've done, where I showed you how to add manufacturing data, also using the same example as you can see in your screen, and how to associate or how to create and associate a 3D part to that manufacturing data. So this week we're going to take it a step further and we're going to associate a 2D footprint to the actual manufacturing data that we've created in the last two videos. Now why do you want to use a 2D footprint? They're mostly used in um, cabinet layouts or 2D cabinet layout designs. So if I just show you an example, as you can see over here, um, if you don't have the 3D environment of SolidWorks and you're only uh, using the 2D electrical environment, you can still create um, a layout of your cabinet like so. Our aim is to create one of those um, 2D footprint symbols ourselves. So let's go ahead and go into SolidWorks Electrical. And I don't need to start a project. I go straight into my library here and let's just have a look first at the manufacturers manager. I go to filters, filter on my own user library and you can see I've got my part over here that I've created. Now if I just double click here, I showed you how to create a line diagram symbol. I also showed you how to create a 3D part symbol and I showed you um, how to create a schematic symbol. Now what we're going to do now is we take it one step further and we're going to create this 2D footprint. As you can see, if I click on here, SolidWorks has um, SolidWorks Electrical has already um, by default out of the box um, a large amount of 2D footprints um, associated to it. Now if you don't associate a specific footprint to the actual part, as you can see over here, because there's nothing nothing associated to uh, yet, yeah, SolidWorks Electrical will take this generic part and will place that in there. Now I'm going to show you now how to create your own one. So we will go straight into the 2D Footprint Manager. And I can look into my class, but there is nothing there yet. Now you've got two ways to go about this. We can create a new one ourselves and you have to start your own sketches and, and start sketching the geometry of the actual part or you can import a DWG file. Now in previous videos I showed you guys that you could go to tracepartsonline.net and we could grab 3D manufacturers data and a 3D geometry part from this website. Um, I can now also, I looked again on the part number here that I grabbed from the data sheet. I can simply now also go in here and select 2D AutoCAD DWG 13. If I select this file, it will download a zip file, save that to your hard drive where you can find it, and you actually have a 2D footprint available for you. Now once I select this, the website will automatically ask me what kind of view I want. Do I want a front view or an isometric view? Now for our 2D footprints, it's important that we select a front view over here so that we can have we have the screws and everything, we can see that. So I've done this already. So I'm just gonna drop this down here. And back in SolidWorks Electrical, I now go to import DWG files. Now, as you can see from the last videos, hopefully you can see the pattern here that importing a DWG file for any library part is the same if it's for a 3D or if it's for a title block or for a symbol or for a footprint, it's always the same wizard. So we're gonna simply click on add files. I've got my front view over here. Open that up. Click next, select the import configuration. Click next. Now here comes the important bit where we can actually assign it to a library and a class. We do this so that we can easily find our part. So I'm going to select this here. I got a nice preview now as well. So I'm going to select contact as relay and this is a power and the library is going to be my own user library. So the one over here. Okay, 
there's no no need to con convert any attributes so we can click next and we don't need to save this import configuration now once we finished we can see a our preview over here again between square brackets which means that um, SolidWorks Electrical is showing the file name here now we don't want the file name so we can double click on it here and add it but before I do that I'm just gonna close this off go back to um, my 2d footprint manager and right click and go to properties so what I want to do here is I want to show you guys how to add um, your own root mark. So this is going to be K. Um, manufacturer is going to be Schneider Electric. My part, here I can already assign it to a part. Now remember I've already created a part for it, so I can just simply select my own library, select the part and click on select. And now this symbol is associated to that part. So as soon as we place that part in our um, 3D environment, it will automatically associate this symbol here. Um, also, of course, if we associate this part to a symbol as well. Okay, so it's going to be cabinet layout footprint. This looks all pretty good, so I can now simply accept that. I forgot to give it a description I see now, so go back in there and add a description and what I will do here is I will just simply use the same description as they've done from here and paste that I always like to add my initials so that I know I customized it and now you can see it uses the name of the description now as I showed you before what I can do now or what we can do now is um, we don't need to add any attributes here it's not necessary because it's a 2d part or a 2d footprint um, but as you can see, we've got a couple of lines here in our screen that we need to clean up. So we can now simply go ahead and clean this up. And um, it will save you a bit more time because otherwise you had to sketch this geometry all by yourself. So to clean up, we go to drawings. We can select the trim tool here. Uh, maybe we select this edge here. And that one as our trimming boundaries. And then just simply click the lines and get rid of them. Now we do the same as for the other ones. And you don't have to do this. If you're happy with this view over here, that's fine. Um, but there are options for you here to further clean up this part. Now that's it for this week's video. Um, and see you guys all next week.